Have you ever wished that one of your boring old USB mice instead worked like a drawing tablet with pressure sensitivity? Well, in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Along the way, we'll do a little bit of hardware and a little bit of software. It's just a proof of concept, but it works better than I expected. Of course, a real drawing tablet is going to work better, but it would also take up extra space, cost more, and sometimes it's annoying to have to switch back and forth between a mouse and a stylus. Basically, we'll be putting a teeny tiny computer inside the mouse. Then we can snipe the mouse's data, combine that with some pressure, and then send it up to the computer. They'll be totally fooled. All right, so the things you'll need are a regular USB mouse, a Phillips screwdriver, a wire stripper, a Teensy 4.0 board, a USB-A to micro B cord, soldering iron, solder, and helping hands, a 4-inch wire, female to male jumper wire, and a force sensitive resistor, and lastly, a 10k ohm resistor. Alright, the first thing you'll need to do is open up the mouse. Here I'm using a Phillips head to remove the attaching screw. Now you'll be able to use a flat head to separate the top from the upper half of the mouse body. Next, cut the USB cable close to where it exits the mouse body. Now, we have to expose the four wires that are inside this USB cable. The tricky part is to avoid cutting them. So what we do is make a partial cut all the way around the perimeter of the wire. Now we can grab both ends tightly and twist until the four wires are revealed. I don't think we'll be needing this shield wire, so for now, just wrap it around the USB cable. Now we can strip the ends of each of the four wires. Next, take your Teensy 4.0 and plug in the micro USB cable. Once the other end is plugged into the computer, it will start to blink, like this. Next, we clone the Git repository linked in the description. Then we can apply the patches from that repository into our Teensy library installation. I recommend using Git for this as well, so you can see the changes and also undo them whenever you'd like. Here we can see the changes we made to the library. We'll come back to that later. In the Arduino IDE, open up the sketch file from that Git repository we cloned, and then select the Teensy 4.0 board from the dropdown. Next, set the USB type of the board to pressure mouse. Then we can compile the project and upload it to the Teensy board. Once it's done uploading, it's back to the real world. Let's start by making sure we've got the right resistor. About 10k ohms, nice. Place the resistor between pin 14 and ground on the Teensy board. Now you can solder the two legs. Next, solder one end of the 4 inch wire to the 3.3 volts pin close by. Now let's connect the mouse wires to our Teensy board. Let's start with the red wire, which is 5 volts. And now the black wire, which is ground. The data lines are a little bit trickier. The Teensy board only exposes pads for these rather than through holes. So, we start by putting little mounds of solder on each of the pads. Next, we tin the tips of each of the white and green wires. And then solder the tips to the pads. I realized there was potential for shorts because I stripped too much plastic. So, I put some electrical tape just to be safe. You shouldn't have to do this though if you're careful. Next, we clip off the leg of the resistor that goes through the ground pin. Then, we can install the Teensy into the mouse enclosure. Clip just a little bit off of that resistor leg, and then join it with the female to male jumper. Now we can finally connect the force sensitive resistor. Now, try to pack everything in so that the top of the mouse can fit back on. This will probably take some trial and error. 
Once you're ready, put the mouse top back on, taking care to thread the FSR through the mouse wheel hole. When you're closing it, you're looking to hear some satisfying clicks. Something like that. And that. Alright, last step. We just gotta put the screw back in. And we're done! Now's a good time to give a quick overview of what the code does. Basically, the idea is to get the Teensy board to pretend that it's a drawing tablet. So, we have it running in a loop. First, it looks if there's any data coming in from the mouse. If it finds some, it makes sure to do a quick reading of the force sensitive resistor to get the pressure value. Then, we transmit it up to the computer. Relatively simple, right? The problem is, is that this transmit function is something we have to implement ourselves. And that's where things get a little bit hairy, because we have to make that function in the USB driver of the Teensy 4 library. Let's take a look at the changes that we had to make. It looks bad, but a lot of this is just copy-paste from the existing driver, with a few tweaking of parameters here and there. But there's one thing worth pointing out in particular. This is the transmit function that we were talking about earlier. Basically, it just packs the data into a buffer and sends it up to the computer. But you might ask, if this mouse is to just work on any operating system or application, how does the computer know how to read the bytes in these packets? In fact, how are you able to buy any random cheapo USB device, plug it into your computer, and have it just work? Well, most of the time, at least. Do operating systems have a special driver for every single USB device that gets made? Fortunately, no, and that's the magic of the universal serial bus. Basically, there's this thing called a USB report descriptor. It's a mini language that all operating systems know how to speak. Devices can use it to explain the format of the data that they send. So, here's our report descriptor, which could make the mouse act as a drawing tablet and as a regular mouse simultaneously. For example, this part right here is the x and y coordinates of the mouse movement. Well, it's a little bit cryptic, yes, with all these bytes everywhere. To really understand it, you'd have to refer to the USB specification itself. In particular, this document titled HID Usage Tables. It's a bit of a doozy, though fortunately the internet has some helpful guides and examples. But the main idea is that these bytes mean whatever is written on the right hand side. Alright, enough of that. Let's see it in action. Awesome, we're definitely getting varying width of the brushstroke, matching how much pressure I'm using on the sensor. Compare that to drawing with a regular mouse. Boo. But can we actually use it for anything cool? Well, I'm definitely not used to drawing like this, but it works better than I expected. I really just made this as a proof of concept. I hope someone sees this and tries to take this project even further. Yeah, and also, I'm recording this all in Linux. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on macOS for some reason, and I can't figure out why. I think macOS doesn't like my USB report descriptor, but anyway, if someone tests it on Windows, please let me know. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.